everyone, welcome to Wacky Wednesday. I'm Miss Megan, a youth services librarian at the Johnston Public Library. And today we are making chalk paint. So what you'll need is a third cup of cornstarch, a third cup of baking soda, some warm water, a few spray bottles, and food coloring. So I've already pre-mixed baking soda and cornstarch in my pink bottle, but I'm gonna add some cornstarch and baking soda into my blue bottle. And I just made a funnel out of a piece of paper because I didn't have one here at the library. Um, and all I did was just cut it, wrap it around, put a little piece of tape on it, cut a hole in the end, just so I could make this a little less messy. So I'm gonna put in, and I've already pre-measured this, a third cup of the cornstarch. And be careful, cornstarch kind of likes to just kind of blow up in your face. So be careful as you're adding it to your spray bottle. And I'm just gonna shake it until it gets out of the funnel. And we'll keep going, there's only a little bit left. Then we're gonna measure out. Let's see. All right, we're done with that. Then we're gonna measure out a third of a cup of baking soda. There, and put it into our funnel. Give it a good shake. Awesome. And then what I'm gonna do is just take, I have a little eyedropper, but if you don't have eyedroppers, you are welcome to use a knife or anything that can fit into the top of your spray bottle. And I just kind of give it a good mix to mix the cornstarch and the baking soda together. And I'm gonna do that with my pink bottle as well. Then I'm gonna add, so this is um, warm water, pretty warm water, so it can kind of help dissolve that baking soda. And I'm just gonna fill my spray bottle up about three quarters full, leaving some room at the top so that we can shake it. And then I'm gonna take my eyedropper again and mix it just enough so that we can kind of get the cornstarch and baking soda off of the bottom of the bottle. We'll mix, mix, mix. And then I'll repeat it with my second bottle. So again, only filling it up about three quarters of the way with water. I'll take my eyedropper and mix this one up as well. Then this is at the point where you want to put your food coloring in. And today I'm going to use um, some gel food coloring, so I don't need to use as much as if I had just regular food coloring. Then I'm going to take purple and give it a good squeeze. And then I'm gonna take orange and put that in my pink bottle. You can use whatever colors you have. You can mix it up, maybe use some red and yellow to make an orange um, or a blue and yellow to make green if you don't have that on hand. Then what I'm gonna do is you're gonna want to tighten up the spray bottle as tight as it can go. And just gently shake the spray bottle. Might have to hit the bottom because you can see that there's still some on the bottom. But shake it up so it's well mixed. And each time you use this, so before you go outside, you might have to shake it again because the cornstarch will settle on the bottom. 
but just know you can just shake it. So even as you're playing, just shake it up. I'm gonna tighten up my spray cap too. I'm gonna shake this one again. Ooh. This one's a little leaky. So be careful, I'll do this over the counter or maybe even outside. And there we go. So we have two bakes up. Take them outside, decorate your sidewalks, your driveway, um, maybe even go to a park and spray this on the sidewalk there to brighten someone's day. Send us your pictures in the comments of the creations you make with your spray chalk. Make all different colors with anything that you might have at home. And we will see you next week at one o'clock for Wacky Wednesday. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.